Hi guys, in this video, we are going to be exploring, again, how to use the most basic function, functions and features of Google Sheets. Okay, so how do we find Google Sheets? There's many ways to find Google Sheets. We can go to our app launcher and choose Sheets, or we could type into the search bar sheets.google.com, or if we wanted to open up a blank new spreadsheet, we could just type in sheets.new. That'll open up a blank new spreadsheet. But I'm just going to go to sheets.google.com. And we will come to this the basic Google Sheets splash location, or sorry, splash screen. So it'll show you, again, it already has some templates for tracking attendance, schedules, and grading students. Again, below it'll show you the most kind of recent spreadsheets you've worked on. Uh, but I just want to open up a blank new spreadsheet. So hit the plus button. And here we go. So again, as we let our spreadsheet load, um, you're going to remember from the previous note that spreadsheets are composed of columns, again, all labeled with a letter, A, B, C, D, E, so forth and so on, going all the way to Z at the very end. And rows, all labeled with a number, all going all the way to the end. And the last number is a thousand. So you can have a thousand rows. So, and each particular box, which we call a cell, is labeled based on what column it's in and what row it's in. And the column goes first, the row goes second. Well, I'm just clicked on this one in particular, which is in row, sorry, in column B, and it's row two. So this is cell B2. And I'll click on another random one. And this is column E, uh, row eight. This is E8. Pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm going to again do another important thing, which is label my document, give it a name. I'm just going to call it Intro to Spreadsheets. Okay, so I'm going to enter some data. I'm going to pretend we all went apple picking. Very exciting, I know. So I'm going to have two headings for my data. The first one was name, and I typed that into cell B2. And the second one, uh, I'm going to say number of apples. Picked. So I'm going to pretend there was Mo, Sunil, and Sarah. These are my three students who all picked apples. Say, Mo picked 16 apples, Sunil picked 25, and Sarah wasn't feeling it, so she picked 10. Okay, so pretty basic information here. So, again, I've entered in my data. So, one of the reasons people like spreadsheets is because it's naturally and a good way of organizing information and data. Again, everyone likes to organize data into nice, neat, and clean tables, and spreadsheets do that by default. Okay, but the main purpose, the main reason we use spreadsheets is because they are awesome calculators. They are fast calculators, and they are calculators that remember the calculations that have been done and will automatically update them if numbers change. So let's pretend after Sarah, I want another heading. Or it's actually, it's called a label. I'm going to say total. And I'm going to add up all of my total number of apples picked by all three students. So we're going to type in to cell C6, because that's where I want to put my total number, my answer of all numbers, sorry, the, all the apples that were picked today. So I'm going to do a calculation. And if you want to do a calculation in a spreadsheet, whether it's Google Sheets, Excel, or Quattro, you start the same way. You start 
by clicking into the cell you want to show your answer in and then hit the equal signs. So again, equal signs is almost like programming where you are giving the spreadsheet an instruction to do math. So if you forget to type in anything in, it's not going to work. You start with the equal sign if you want to do math. So I want to add up these three cells. So I want to add again 16, which is in cell C3. You're going to notice when I type in C3, it actually highlights that cell. And then I want to add, again, cell C4, because that's where Sunil's total is. And then I want to add that last one, which is Sarah's total, which is C5. So I'm going to add in C3, C4, and C5, and then hit Enter. Again, and the total number of apples picked by everybody is 51. So a lot of people aren't really impressed by that. Again, they say to themselves, why don't I just use a calculator? Or maybe I can do that in my head. Well, and that's very true. But there's one thing that spreadsheets do, especially when you use a formula like this, that once you've entered in the formula, you never have to do it again, even if you change the numbers. Because you could have written equals 16 plus 25 plus 10, and you would have got 51 again. Uh, so why do you put in the formula? Why do you put in equals C3 plus C4 plus C5? Well, you put in the formula in case you make a mistake or information changes. Let's say, again, maybe I took my eyes off of Sarah and she picked a whole bunch of apples behind my back. I didn't even see it. And say she didn't, again, um, pick 10. She picked 30. She was an all-star that day. So I changed Sarah's amount to 30. And look what happens to my total. It automatically updates. That's part of the reason we use spreadsheets. Once we do that formula once, because maybe we're tracking the number of apples picked over the entire week. So we're constantly having to update this. So that way, we just have to update the individual totals. And the, if the total calculation or formula is already there, again, it'll just automatically update it every single time. Okay. Another thing to remember uh, is sometimes, again, we're going to get error messages. Let's say I accidentally, when I wrote in 30, I wrote in not the number 30, but the word 30. And this is how, when we have to remember garbage in, garbage out. We can only do calculations with numeric values, numbers, not the words that signify the same thing. So when I typed in the word 30, 30 this calculator tried to type or add 16 plus 25 plus the word 30. Again, this is when you get an error message. In this case, it's hashtag or number sign value exclamation mark. So it's trying to add, again, a word, 30. Again, you cannot add text, obviously. So you have to make sure, even if you put in something like zero, again, it's not going to work. Again, a computer only can do calculations with numeric values numbers, the actual numbers themselves, not the words that signify the same thing. So let's put the 30 back. So if you ever get an error message like that, where it says value, you're trying to add, again, a number and a word. And obviously you can't do that. But we make that mistake all the time because often we're kind of clicking our cells or typing in our values. And maybe we accidentally grabbed cell C2 it's going to give you the same error message. Okay. The last thing I want to do is I want to do a bit of formatting. So I'm going to take my headings and I'm going to both bold them. Name and number of apples picked. You can either hit the bold button or control B. I'm also going to uh, make my columns a little wider. So I'm going to go all the way up to to where you see the letters and drag them a bit to the right. 
and number of apples picked is spilling into column D. So I definitely have to make that one bigger. And I'm going to center it. And centering is hidden in this menu. And I'm going to shade the background gray. I just like that look. Oh, it's too gray. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box border around the entire thing. And I don't want all the individual kind of uh, cells to have lines between them, just the outside border. And that's the outer border. Like that. And I'm going to make it a little thicker. Okay, if you have any questions about how to use spreadsheets, um, just make sure you're asking them on Google Classroom, emailing me, or showing up to my Google Meet. Have a good day, guys.